Hi there, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on Adventure Vision with RetroArch and Hyperspin. So the first half of the tutorial is going to be on RetroArch, the second half will be for Hyperspinners. So here we go, I'm just going to show you how my folders are set up and get you to get RetroArch working. Alright, so I'm going to go to ES File Explorer. I'm using a NVIDIA Shield Pro TV box. So I'm going to go to Android. I've already installed RetroArch. I've used a nightly build and not the one from the store. And the build I'm using is from the 1st of March 2016. I just downloaded it this morning. So, alright, so within. Android data, we have a folder called com.retroarch. You've installed Retroarch on your Android device. Now, in this folder, you should have a folder called saying files. We're going to create another folder called system. So, go ahead and create a system folder called system. All you have to do if you're using a yes file explorer as I am is go to the bottom, click new folder, obviously, just type system. It's not rocket science, and obviously I've already got one, so I'm just going to cancel that out. Alright, so now in my system folder, it is, I've got all these other folders with all these different systems. We're going to concentrate on this main folder and the add vision folder, which is adventure vision. I'm going to show you why it's called add vision in a second. So in in your system folder, now we're going to, you're going to create, because it will be blank inside, a folder called MAME, M-A-M-E. So once you've created that folder, you're going to get an hash folder by downloading a version of MAME to your laptop. Just Google MAME, go to the MAME homepage, download the zip version of MAME, that's all I did, and then extract it, and then extract it again, and then I've seen the hash folder. But anyway, you see that hash folder within the MAME system that you download, just copy and paste it to your Android system. Inside the Ash folder is all the systems that MAME now rep, um, emulates. Now it's um, combined with MESS. So all these different systems are what it will emulate. And Adventure Vision is called, it's called AdVision within this system. So I'll just go down to AdVision. So there we go, AdVision. So whatever the system is you're trying to emulate, in your um, system folder, you will need the, the folder for you, wh whichever system you're going to emulate. You need the name identical to it as it, as it is, isn't it? So I've got a AdVision folder. There you go. Next to that, my main folder. So within system, we've got main and we've got AdVision. So and with our main folder, we should have this Ash folder. Don't worry about these other folders for the time being. Uh, I'll be, there'll be for different other tutorials. Might go through a few of them here. All right. So in our Ash folder, we've got all the XML files, all the systems that RetroArch is going to emulate. So we're going to work on our Advision, Adventure Vision. So we're going to click on that. We're going to open it. Right. Adventure Vision only had four games. So it's that, that's your lot there, that's the full XML file, not very big I know. So, but what you need to do with these XML files, you how to, how to um, name your games. So I'd, I'm just going to go a bit further up to so get to the game name. It will say where, where it says software name, you can just about keep poking through at the top of the page. Um, here we go. Just go a bit further and then just come back down. Right, so whatever's in between these graphic uh, brackets, that's what you need to name your ROMs within the folder, the system folder, and the Adventure Vision folder. Obviously, for every different system, we're going to use an Adventure Vision. So we go to the advent ad vision.xml to find out what the ROMs are named in here. So our turtles ROM needs to be named turtles exactly how it is here, lowercase, just turtles. So whatever it says in, in between two brackets, that's what your ROMs need to be named. 
you can piss about uh, renaming these XML files if you want it, and it just causes you nightmares further down the line. So just go whatever it says, it call them in here. Just that's what, just call it them. Yeah, that's, that's just the easiest way you can do it. Because if you go on the forums later down the line, you see you've got turtles or whatever, uh, and you've named it something else, and people will be like, "What, what are you on about in my XML? It's, it's named turtles." So just just name everything as it is as it, an it just makes your life a, a lot lot easier as hyper spinners know about naming stuff anyway like all identical so obviously i want to teach uh, teach them to suck eggs so right now we're gonna go back um back again so right so back again so in our system folder you should have now you should have that main folder. You're going to create another folder called Add Vision. In this folder, we're going to place our ROMs. As you can see, I've got all four in here now. All four ROMs that were for this system. They've only ever made four games for it. So, and as you can see, I've named the Turtles ROM just Turtles, lowercase, and I put it into a, it, it, it's in a zip dot zip. Inside, it can be named whatever you want. The, the actual bin with the raw ROM. I put they need to be in zip folders or seven zip folders for them to load. So and then I'll just go back again. So we've got our system, we've got our main folder, and we've got our add vision folder with our ROMs in zip folders named identical to the XML. I've got this other folder, another add vision folder. So in the second add vision folder, I've got my BIOS files. So Adventure Vision has two BIOS files, this uh, .u5 one and the .u8. They might be named .rom and .bin, but you need to rename so they're identical to what I've got here. I'll put the names in the description at the bottom of the page. So, and then I've also put them in a zip folder and called it AdVision just to be on the same side. I'll just open that to show you inside. There they go. There's the two ROM uh, BIOS files again. So, uh, back out of here. Sorry, the dog's walking around on the floor. If you can hear, hear that. Alright, let's get back out of here. I'm going to try RetroArch now. So, we're going to go to RetroArch. If you've only just downloaded this, you, you won't have any cores. So you, what you'll need to do is go to online data, core data, and you will need to click on arcade main. As you can see there, I've already downloaded that most of these, the ones that I use, so I'm gonna miss that bit out. But now we're gonna look, try and load one of our ROMs. So we're gonna go to load content. I'm gonna select the file detect core. I'm gonna go to SD card, I'm going to go to Android, I'm going to go to data, com.retroarch, and then we go to system. That's the system folder we just created. And as you can see, there's our, our vision folder which contains our ROMs and our BIOS folder. So we're going to click on Defender, I'm going to click Load Archive with Core. I'm going to click Arcade Main Core, and you'll get this. Some of these systems, what uh, Mess Mame emulates now, um, got some of them have errors, and this is one of them. So it says no pro um, there are no problems with this machine. The two links I've sent you, it will show you which machines don't work at all, or have, have bugs like this, or are absolutely perfect. So just check it out before you try and get one of these systems to work and you're wondering why it doesn't work, just check the links I've sent you and if it's not working it's probably because it's not on there. I just click your joypad left to right now and there you go and again and it should just start. There we go and there we go, this is Defender, you can probably recognise it from the arcade version. The graphics aren't as great as the arcade version. And there's me just getting blown up. This is like ahead of its time. You know, at the time, I can't remember what year it came out, but this is like it had its own. Uh, it came with its own screen, so you didn't have to plug it into the television. It was, um, I think, it was like some like 40 LEDs. 
and aim a spinning mirror what created the picture on the screen hence why it's like that kind of flickering so uh, don't let graphics put you off though because these are great little games honestly these pick up put down I like today where they it's more um, concentrating on the graphics rather than the actual gameplay itself and as you can see I don't want to put it down now and start playing it but there you go there's your adventure vision up and running right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do something for the hyper spinners now so I'm gonna click on a hyper spin obviously you should have all your named exactly the same already you, I, I'm not gonna teach how to suck eggs here so I'm gonna click on defender um, let's back out of here a second close because I'm guessing it probably won't, won't work depending on where you point your BIOS files to there we go you probably come up with this menu here so what we're going to do here is I'm going to go to settings I'm going to go to directory and system go to the forward slash I click SD card I'm going to click Android and click data I'm going to click and then click on system and then at the top it says use this directory I'm going to click on that one I'm going to select the use this directory I'm going to click um, two settings check the configuration use these. turn that to configuration pick all on and then I'm going, to, I'm going to back out of it I'm going to quit retroarch now when I click it, it should, there we go, straight to the actual ROM. And there you go, it should be working now. I'll just show you in a second as well my settings file just so you've got it, just in case it isn't coming to this screen. It's generally, if it just flickers, then generally yeah if it, if it just flickers and doesn't load it's generally a BIOS issue or a settings file um, issue so I'll just show you my settings again this is for hyper spinners so with all the one for spin and settings adventure vision and here we go. There is my settings folder. Mine's in the the, the root of my um, the video of Shield Pro, my um, Adventure Vision ROMs. Or as you've just seen, like I've just gone to the Android bit. So there's my path SD card, well, forward slash SD card, Android, capital A there. I, I think it, it might be case sensitive, so just copy it identical to mine. Uh, system ad vision. Don't put false slash at the end, don't put any asterisks, spaces or anything else at the end or any of this because you'll probably get errors like so if you get any spaces of anything at the end check for spaces like you've left at the end of these lines sometimes you do end up with a lot of space but as long as you didn't put it there it's not only too bad but again and then you've got the exe obviously I'll include these lines and the parameters line in the description and I've got my ROM extension 7-zip and zip just in case I do use 7-zip in the future so if your settings are like that then it should just work fine as you've just seen I've just set it up pretty quickly so just back out of here and let's try it again I have to spin here we go adventure vision and there you go Thanks for watching. I'll be doing some more in the future.